Latest on Hurricane Michael, which is intensifying substantially as it moves through the Yucatan Channel. A Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, 75 miles an hour, a pressure of 982 at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on October the 8th. The storm is currently located at 21.5 north, 85.2 west. A stage 3 on the CDPS scale, significant and could develop further over the next few days, is likely to reach major hurricane status and could become even stronger than that. 115 miles from Pinar del Rio right now, 108 from Cancun, 302 from Key West, 475 from Tampa and 597 from Panama City, which could be close to its eventual landfall point. There's the latest in terms of watches and warnings right now. The watch is at the top of the screen there um, for quite a large chunk of Florida. No warnings there yet. Storm surge watch for Navarra to Ana Maria Island, Florida. Um, so those will probably be upgraded to warnings in the next 24 hours. And this is what the models are saying over the next few days. This is the GFS run, again showing a northward movement and then a curve towards the east near its landfall point, which looks to be somewhere in between Pensacola and Panama City, according to the GFS at least, but other models saying different things entirely. There it is moving off towards the northeastern part of the United States and way out to sea. Yes, the storm could also affect those areas that were hit by Florence last month. Uh, so obviously those areas will of course be watching this closely as well. Sea surface temperatures aren't going to be an issue for Michael. Uh, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, maybe even touching 30 here and there. Uh, certainly going to be warm enough to sustain a mature hurricane. And this is what we expect over the next few days. Another look from the GFS. The yellows indicating hurricane force conditions. And I must say, uh, this one is probably a little bit behind the curve uh, because of how the storm has been intensifying in recent hours. So I would say maybe a stronger than Category 1. Well, that's quite likely at this point. National Hurricane Center say that it will get to Category 3 status before striking the U.S. East Coast. Um, and that certainly isn't far-fetched at all. Here's the chances of tropical storm force winds, 63% in Cancun still, uh, 15 in New Orleans, those chances starting to go down a bit there. Mobile 39, that's sort of a 50-50, half and half, uh, whether it's going to get the storm or not. Pensacola up to 60% and Panama City at 89. Obviously, tropical storm conditions will be expected there. And this is what the models are saying at the moment. Uh, the last runs, uh, whether they are up to date, one or two of them are actually. Uh, the HWRF calling for a Category 4 peak there as well as the CTCX. Uh, wind shear is not going to be that low, uh, but if you believe the HMON and the CTCX it could go down below 10 knots. And there's the tracks on the left hand side, a pretty decent agreement that it's going to be a Florida landfall, but exactly where on, along the coast of Florida remains to be seen and of course with the storm's influence uh, its wind field could extend quite a way further towards the east. Here's how it has been looking in recent frames even in Havana, Cuba probably seeing some at least cloud coverage in relation to the storm and possibly some significant rainfall but those recent frames there showing how the storm's been developing. Um, the eye is in there somewhere, it was more visible earlier on. Uh, but now it appears that it's been clouded out a bit more by some more convective activity. There it goes. And some dry air still over off to the west. We'll have more updates on this storm regularly over the next few days. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash Force 13. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.